Hey guys, what's up? It's Becky and welcome back to my channel. Today I did a makeup tutorial for a Winifred Sanderson look from the iconic Hocus Pocus movie. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure and turn on that bell so you get notifications every time I upload. And then be sure to like and share this video with a friend. Okay guys, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First things first is the most difficult and time consuming part of our entire look, which is getting rid of those eyebrows. I'm going to start by gluing the back side of my eyebrows and then brushing them down. After that dries, I'm going to go ahead and put a few more coats of glue, letting each coat dry in between. After all of that is done and dry, I'm going to take my Ben Nye Total Color Correcting Wheel in the shade Burnt Orange and I'm going to put that over all the hairs. This is going to help color correct and blend everything in pretty nicely with our foundation. Then I'm going to set the orange with the original RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just going to leave that on for a little bit before brushing it away. Now dipping back into the Ben Nye Color Correcting Wheel in the shade Yellow, I'm going to cover up the orange. That's going to bring it more closer to a foundation color, which we will go over in just a few minutes with concealer. When I tell you this is a process, I'm not joking. After every single step, we're going to reset our eyebrows with the original No Color RCMA powder, and hopefully, pretty soon we won't have any eyebrows. If you don't have any of these products, it works pretty well if you just use the glue, a concealer, and a setting powder. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm just going to cover up the eyebrows even further. And then after I pat it out with my sponge and blend it in, yeah, you guessed it, I'm going to go in with the original RCMA setting powder one more time. You basically just keep repeating these steps and this process over and over until you can't see your eyebrows anymore. Keeping in mind that if they show through a little bit, it's going to be okay because we're still going to do foundation over our whole face. After those eyebrows are finally gone, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape, put it all over my face as kind of like a primer because I want to really lighten my skin tone because let's face it, Winifred is anything but tan. After I'm nice and washed out, I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation which is the Pat McGrath Labs. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection in the shade Light Medium 9 and I'm just going to cover my entire face with that. It brings a little bit of color back but not too much so I'm still pretty pale. Remember when putting foundation over those eyebrows you want to make sure to press into the skin and don't rub because the last thing you want to happen is to mess up those eyebrows that you just worked so hard on. And yes, I am setting my whole face with the original RCMA No Color Setting Powder. Then I'm going to pick up the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm just going to take the medium brown shade and I'm going to draw all of the lines that she has on her face to emphasize her face and make it look a little plumper. I'm also going to go out a little bit and do sort of a triangle to make my nose appear like it's a little larger, more bulbous, and almost like it's been broken, like a witch's nose. 
And by doing that, it's just going to really, really help out and bring the whole character to life. Then I'm just going to follow along where my natural eye bags would be and really emphasize those. Bringing shadows underneath my eyes and then blending them out as I go. You kind of want to start where it's barely any makeup on the brush because it's much easier to build than it is to take away. Then I'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette and I'm going to highlight everything I want to bring forward. So I'm going to highlight my bags and just on top of my nose, my chin, and on every side of the line. And of course, you can't forget to contour that jaw. Now bringing that up to the sides of my eyes to give me some sort of crow's feet to make me look a little more aged. Now I'm just lightly contouring my cheekbones because she did actually have pretty prominent cheekbones in the movie. Now keeping with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, I'm going to go in with the deepest brown shade, which is just a dark matte brown, and I'm going to use that as my eyeshadow. There isn't much blending going on. If you ever look up pictures of her, there's not a lot blended. It's just kind of stuck on there. Again, going back in with that light highlighter shade, we're just going to shade on the outsides of the lines to bring my cheeks and make them look a little bit fuller, which in turn recesses all of the darker shading that we did. And with every step, we go ahead and blend everything out as we go. Now I'm going in with a super pink blush by MAC in the shade Happy Go Rosy and I'm just going to smile and really put that all over the apples of my cheek. Do not blend it up toward your temples, they're pretty much just there. Then I'm going to grab some mascara and coat my top lashes only. And for lashes, I'm just going to take these individual falsy lashes and just stick a few of them on the outer corners of my eye. Not too many because her eyelashes were not very full in the movie. Now I'm taking a regular brown eyebrow pencil and I'm lining my top lash line. Mainly this step is just to get rid of the black glue that I happen to use on those falsy individual lashes. Now I'm taking some concealer and blocking out my lips and then I'm going to set that with the setting powder. Then I'm going to line just the middle portion of my lips with a brown eyebrow pencil. I'm going to fill those in with the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow, which is a brown shade. Then I'm going to set that with the setting powder. If you set between each step, then it's going to give you longevity. Make sure everything stays on and in place. Now picking up the shade Sea Sheer by MAC, I'm going to go over the Bow and Arrow color and then set that again with the powder. Now going in with a red lipstick from MAC called Viva Glam Sia, and I'm going to go over all of that and of course set it again. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for this super simple Winifred Sanderson look. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and go ahead, like, and share this with a friend. Bye! Oh, another bitch, you hag! There are not enough children in the world to make thee young and beautiful. How we do with him? Let's barbecue and fillet. Hang on a hook and let me play with him. No. Book? Darling, come to me.